It is 913 on your Saturday morning. We know it's been hot. You stay out of the sun or at least put lots of sunscreen on when you're in our Arizona sunshine. But even if you're working from home, you need to lather up as well. Did you know this? I did not. So we are talking to celebrity facialist and esthetician Rachel Lowe. She's joining us via Skype this morning. Rachel, good morning to you. Good morning, Jamie. How are you doing today? Well, I, I'm just I'm pondering how, how much a uh, blue light is coming from my computer that I need to sunscreen up. Uh, well, it's quite a bit. And, you know, due to this uh, self uh, distancing and quarantining ourselves, the there has been a rise 70% in how much we're actually spending our time on our, our devices, our computers, our phones. So how does this impact us and do we need to wear sunscreen? And the answer is absolutely yes. Uh, we do not, we, we don't have UV rays coming from our computer screen or our phones that are strong enough to give us uh, as known as uh, skin cancer that we know there's no study showing that, but the blue light is quite intense and can lead to some other things. So have you been wearing your sunscreen? Uh, I wear a sunscreen every single day on my face, but I remember as I, I shouldn't tell you this, I was at the pool yesterday and I got a little bit of a redness on my neck. I need to remember to put it all the way down every single day uh, to yes. take care of our skin. So that blue light can actually impact our skin in what ways? It can. So what it does is it's not known to cause, let's say, skin cancer, um, something that we must, you know, reapply every few uh, hours. But blue light can affect our skin in a way where it creates something called um, photodermatosis. And what that is, is we get a little bit of inflammation from the light coming from our computers from the blue light, which is a short wavelength. However, it's also enough to create a reaction in our skin. So we can start to develop brown spots, darker spots, a little bit of inflammation from the stimulation from this light. So wearing a sunscreen um, with ingredients that are better known as natural minerals, so titanium um, dioxide and um, zinc, actually block those UV blue lights that we don't get that pigmentation from our skin. And also the direct exposure, we should try to limit a little bit and do definitely reapply. How mad would you be if you get dark spots that, you know, people call age spots from your computer? <laughs> Work from it home. Happens. <laughs> that is it wild. happens. It happens. You're just going to have to come see your facialist. I, I know, Edward exactly. Hunter. More business for you. So you're saving us, actually. List those ingredients. You said them once. It was zinc and a couple others. List those again for Zinc me. and titanium. My favorite product here is from a company called um, Oxygenetics, and they have a foundation, and they have a hydro matrix, which does not have sunscreen in it, but the foundation does and uh, I've been wearing this every day of my life for about 12 years and there's natural SPF 30 in this with zinc titanium and guess what aloe vitamin E hyaluronic acid these are other ingredients that help to reduce inflammation so if you're getting that inflammation from your computer you're not only protecting from the rays but you're combating that inflammation so you're kind of targeting it in both ways okay we've been quarantined for what two months what should be the first question for our esthetician when we go back what should we get done well, I think home care at this point is number one, but when you come in, start with a facial, but if you have things on a cellular level that need a little bit of improvement, of course, using different forms of light with lasers are my first choice. Let's target those brown spots and those dark spots that come from inflammation with peels, lasers, um, and certain ingredients that you could use at home. There's very many. Uh, it just depends on your skin type. And you're in Arizona. You guys are probably exposed to sun a little bit more than where I'm at in New York. Um, we're about to have a snowstorm today, possibly. It's so cold. So I still wear my sunscreen every day and lots of different things to choose from when you can finally get back to see your esthetician. Are you on the gram? Can we follow you on Instagram? You can. I'm on Instagram as Laser Ray, L-A-S-E-R-R-A-E. -E. Um, I'm here in the city. I work for a facial plastic surgeon. I, we have everything at our fingertips and I'm just constantly on the move about learning and offering education to everyone. So I appreciate your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Rachel. And stay safe and stay warm in New York City. Kim you Potatoes. too. Thank you.